Hello there and welcome. It's Gabriella Reza here and I am very excited because I'm bringing you a brand new series that for the next 30 days I'm coming on live and sharing five minutes or less of a tip or advice or something that is going to help bring you forward on your fertility journey. You know, one of the things I talk about a lot is this idea of stopping to go, you know, stop going around in circles because unfortunately for so many couples, that's what's happened. That's what happens. But today I actually wanted to bring something a little bit controversial almost is the idea of stopping to, you know, sometimes the big, the best thing that happens in life is when we stop to do something that is not helping us and stopping the management of stress is the idea that I want to bring to you today because one of the big things that I hear a lot and I have been doing this for 22 years so you can imagine that I have heard this from men and women around the world thousands and thousands and thousands of times which is the idea of feeling so stressed on the fertility journey and then on top of that stressing about stressing and it's not helpful. So I was talking to a friend the other day and landed on this concept of why not stopping the stress management of life and starting the joy management of life. And that is a big, big, big paradigm shift for a lot of people. But just feel your way into that for a little bit. You know, rather than thinking about the things that aren't right, you know, that the news perhaps that you got, that AMH levels aren't where they need to be, or egg quality, or sperm quality, or the fact that you may be dealing with an impending miscarriage, all of those things, they do weigh so much. And at the same time, figuring out what brings in even just a tiny little spark of joy into that conversation, into what's going on, can be so incredibly powerful. I have been playing around with this concept in my own life. You know, as I do my doctoral program at Harvard right now, there are many demands and there are many different things that need to happen at almost, you know, seemingly at the same time. And like, for so many of my patients, there is this idea of running against time. And one day I thought, you know what? This is not helping me. And I wanted to share this today because I know, you know, from the conversations that I have with my patients all the time, this is something that doesn't help you either. So how about ending, ceasing once and for all, the idea of stress management and focusing on joy management. So how could you do that? That is a great question that only you can answer. You know, in this particular topic, you are the expert. So utilize your expertise, utilize the knowledge of what you know brings you happiness, makes you lighter. Sometimes it's really just about that. It's like, you know, what is the one tiny little thing that I can do, even from a thought that I choose to think that brings levity to my life, to my moment in this moment in my life, you know, because it's so easy to get so caught up with the distinction, the difference between where you want to be and where you are, that it colors, it almost colors everything. So looking at, okay, how can I change that to what brings me happiness? What brings me light? What brings me joy? is going to immensely support where you're wanting to head on your fertility journey. So that's today's tip in its entirety. It's figuring out what is the thing from the thought to the action to just doing something, even just to moving your body, even just the joy of being able to move, going out in nature for a walk, drawing something, painting something, you know, anything that actually brings light to whatever it is that you're doing today. So focus on joy management. That is my tip for today. Go ahead and get that done. And in case you haven't heard, the Group Fertility Breakthrough Program is live. I'm going to put a little um, link after this video is done. And I look forward to tomorrow where we're gonna talk about something completely different. Until then, bye for now.